Hey guys, Alex Sturgeon here for a uh, for an unboxing. We haven't done one of these in a while, and uh, this time it's going to be the Red Cat uh, 64 Impala SS Lowrider. Um, I am. Uh, we've been waiting forever for these things. They were on back order before Christmas, and then uh, a couple of them got got out. But they Red Cat was kind of doing it more direct, and so finally, finally, the hobby shops are able to get some of these and. Uh, I want to open her up and just take a look at it. The box is heavy. I mean, this is a heavy, heavy car. The other thing too, is they kind of do the same kind of cool thing that, uh, if you look here, I don't want to mess it up, but you can undo this and it's got like a graffiti background. So you can set up like a, um, you know, like a, like a, uh, what do they call that? Uh, you know, you can set it up and a diorama. There you go. Diorama. So here, here's the thing. I wanted to show this too. This is really cool. So it's got, it's not just a box. Like they've actually taken care of uh, the box. They've made the box kind of like artwork almost, you know? So look at that. That's pretty neat. Instructions, stickers. We know nobody looks at the instructions. And then your first thing here. So this is that six channel radio. We'll come back to that. Let's get the car out. It's packed in there really tight, really well. And then, I want to be careful here, because it is very detailed and really heavy. <laughs> All right. Well, that's it. Okay. Bam. There it is. That is great. I mean, it reminds me of, a, of more of like a uh, like a model instead of just an RC car. Uh, it's fully functional. I mean, the whole idea is to have it do uh, some hydros, and and you can turn on uh, you can turn on some Dr. Dre, and uh, go at it. Here's the bottom carriage of it. Look at that. There's your linkage. There, there's your drive shafts. The tires are so small, but I mean, it's scale. I mean, that's really cool. Uh, let's see if we can take the body off. The clips are hidden very well underneath. Uh, let's see. Again, I don't want to mess it up, but there we go. Come on. There it is. Okay. So, you can see there, looks like light buckets, so it's ready for a light kit, and again, it looks like it's, I was going to say almost like a two-piece, but I don't think it is, I think it's a, I think it's more of, oh, the back end, so here, you know, when you, when you mold these really scale bodies, a lot of times, like when HPR, HPI started making um, really detailed uh, scale bodies. One of the things you had to do was they would mold it flat and then you'd have to cut it out and put it together. Well, you can see here it's kind of the same way on this guy. Here's the top. You can see that it's lined up. There's some interesting cut lines. Uh, same thing with the front. So the front end is also kind of, it, originally this was a separate piece. So if they sell this body separate, I'm sure that this is all going to be a separate piece that you would actually have to cut out and put together. But the end result is really nice. I mean, that is very, very nice. Okay, so you have your interior here. Um, no dudes or anything in it. It'd be pretty cool to have like a like a like a dude with like a striped LA jacket or something like that in there. <laughs> you know. Um, all right. So again, you know, it's not meant to go fast. It's not meant to uh, to bash or anything. It's meant to drive around low and slow, like the license plate says. Check out the license plate. So there it is right there. Low and slow. And, you know, it's meant to do to do its hopping. So um, you're not going to find any real heavy-duty, um, you know, metal shocks or anything like that. But it is interesting that these links here, um, they are metal, though. There's your steering linkage. Here's one of the servos. So I'm going to guess that there's bunch of servos in this thing so there's two 
Let's see what we got back here. Oh yeah, there you go. Look at that. There's three and four. And then it looks like your battery goes right in the back, right here. You got your old uh, Red Cat plugs there. Um, it's got your your Red Cat Hexfly speed controller, and I'm sure there's a Hexfly servos. And let's see if there's anything else. So I'm curious what's in here. That so a lot of the weight is coming from the back here, and. I wonder if it's just like a, just a, for balance. I don't know. I think I'm going to gang tackle the first person who buys one of these and, and make him show us uh, what's going on. You know, we're obviously not going to do it now. This is an unboxing. Um, but if I had, uh, what are these, $5.99? If I had 600 bucks, I'd probably buy it and just uh, just show you guys how it rolls. Um, one more thing I want to show off here is the motor. You can see the motor in there. There's your receiver, six channel receiver. And uh, you know, the transmission, if you look at it, again, there's there's not much to it, but it shouldn't be. You're, just, you're, you're, you're meant to go slow. It's not like you're gonna go out there and, and you know, bash this thing in any sort of way. Um, six channel controller. And of course you need that. So this is really cool. So here's your, here's your hydros or Hoppers, I don't know, whatever you want to call them. Uh, front and rear. And then you've got your throttle and your steering. Um, you know, this might be a little weird for people who have been doing RC cars with wheel radios for a while. Um, but, you're going slow enough where uh, it shouldn't be a problem, you know, to drive this thing around. But you need all these channels in order to do what it's supposed to be doing. Again, you should turn on some Dr. Dre in the background and... Uh, uh, you know, get out there and have some fun. Maybe, uh, well, never mind. Uh, we won't go too deep into that. Uh, yeah, so the detail, again, is really, really cool. I do want to show one more thing before we get going here. Is the wiring. Like, they've, they've done a really good job of routing the wires. Again, we'll look back in there. You can kind of see there's a little channel there for all the wires to get around. Um, you know, I have seen lowriders done in the past where they basically, uh, instead of instead of having shocks in the cars, they use servos, and those servos go up and down, and that's how you get it to 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 do its thing. And uh, when I have seen that done a few times here over the years, I've been here now 17 years. I've seen one or two of these. It's a rat's nest of wires, you know. So um, they really did a good job of of cleaning up uh, the the wire routing, and. Uh, and just making it nice and clean and smooth. So, uh, what else do we got in here? So I think there's a battery. So you do get a, wow, a 3800 uh, six cell nickel metal hydride, a 3800 on this thing, cause you're not going very fast. That's gonna last you a very long time. Um, I mean, it's almost unnecessary to have a LiPo. There's your little USB charger. They'd recommend a quick charger. Um, what do we got here? This is, some sort of plug to the radio, I'm gonna assume. Maybe it's for uh, updates or something. And wow, even more weight. So this is where a lot of the weight is. So this must be what's in the back there. So these are weighted plates and uh, it must be for like counterbalancing and stuff. Cause they, you know, you don't wanna have it flip over backwards on you or something like that. So that's really interesting. Maybe when you buy these, you should look at the instruction manual and see what these are actually for. But I'm gonna guess that these go um, in that spot underneath. I mean, you can actually see right there uh, the same color, so there must be weight underneath of there. And uh, it looks like they actually have slots on maybe the sides for these. This extra area. Maybe. Anyways, uh, yeah, I think that's about it. So that's pretty rad. Um, I'm excited to finally get these bad boys in stock here. We've got two of them right now, um, one red, one blue. And uh, again, they're, they're $5.99. They're not exactly the cheapest thing in the world, but um, they are unique. Um, they are something completely different uh, to the RC world. I don't think we've ever had uh, a ready to run um, 
car with hydraulics in it, especially an Impala, and especially one as detailed as this, so it looks really nice. It's good stuff. So, good job, Red Cat. I also gotta say, Red Cat, thank you for putting the car on the box. <laughs> That's one of my big pet peeves in the RC world is when we don't put cars in the boxes, and here we go. Uh, we actually have the uh, 64 Impala on the box. People can see it, people can look at it, people can read about it. And then you can use the box for a backdrop for a diorama. I like it. All right, guys, uh, that's our first unboxing in a while. Um, be prepared for another one here really quick. And uh, make sure that you uh, subscribe, like, tell your friends. And if you're here in town or anywhere close and you want one of these, we got them in stock. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll make another video soon.